Hey, what's up guys? It's Alec from Cichlid Bros. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a brand new shipment of cichlids from one of my favorite online fish stores, the Cichlid Shack. I already have about three or four fish from the Cichlid Shack in this tank behind me, and it's a great place to work with. They always send great specimens, and I cannot wait to see what's in the box. So in today's video, we're gonna do that unboxing. We're gonna put the new fish in the tank, and we're gonna go over the current stock list where there has been some additions. Without any further ado, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and let's dive right in. All right guys, so let's get right into the unboxing. Here's the box, like I said, from the Cichlid Shack. They have a great selection of large cichlids, especially African cichlids. So here we go with the first bag. I'm seeing this for the first time as you are. And this is about a seven inch Dominiochromis kiwingi. Gonna be an awesome addition to this tank. And our second fish today is another fish that's going to bring amazing color into this predator hap tank is a more of a common hap, the Red Empress. Awesome looking fish, looks healthy. Let's get them floating. All right, we got these guys floating. They're a little feisty in the bag. Let's leave these guys for about a half an hour and come back to it. All right, so these guys have been floating for about 40 minutes now, so let's get them in. The next thing you want to do is set out a big net for a big fish in a bucket and then you want to dump the fish into the net so the water can go into the bucket. That way you don't get any of that blue stuff into your tank. All right, so now we got the fish temperature acclimated by letting them float in the bag, in the tank for 40 minutes. Usually you need to do at least 20, but I went 40 to be on the safe side. Now the fish are in the tank, and the next step is to keep the lights off to minimize stress and aggression from the other fish. We'll come back later on tonight and see how everybody's doing and turn on the lights. Six hours later. All right guys, so the fish have been added and settled in now for about six hours. And there has been a little bit of chasing going on, which is very common, which is also why you want to add multiple fish at a time when you have cichlids of this size, when you're adding fish to a tank. So any aggression from the established fish can be spread out. And you're seeing that here with my fish that the two new fish aren't the only ones getting chased. It's kind of raised the aggression level across the board for a lot of the fish in the tank, but it's not exactly pinpointing towards the two new fish. The two new fish are looking great with a lot of color, but adding these two new fish really kind of makes you realize how big these predator haps get because I got these two fish at six to seven inch for the Kawingi and four and a half to five and a half inches for the Red Empress who doesn't get quite as big and they are definitely looking really small compared to my other predator haps. So with that said, let's go over the stock list and the changes that have gone on in this tank with the stock list over the last month. All right, so here is the full tank. As I said, the new fish have been in for about six hours, so they're still a little bit skittish. As you can see, the fish are really growing and really coloring up nicely and just looking great. So as far as the updated stock list, the, I'll start out with the sad news of the video, and that is my 11-inch Bugochromis rhodesii yellow passed away about a month ago. It looked like my eye biter, who has been the tank boss for most of the time, uh, got a little too aggressive with him. He started really hiding in the corner and not doing a very good job eating. That was one of my favorite fish. He was one of the best looking rhodesii yellows I've seen. So that was definitely tough to get over, 
but at the same time, this is part of the gig when dealing with big, aggressive African cichlids. Here's a close up of the Malawi trout, James the Chromus corallius. Here are my two Malawi hawks, my subdominant here, followed by my big boy right here. The Malawi gar has actually started to color up a little bit, colored up and gone back down, back and forth a few times, but he's back to coloring up just a little bit. You can see the blue on his face here. Here is the Bucochromus nototania. He's got that great peach color in his shoulder. Here is the new red empress, four and a half to five and a half inch fish. Do not look as big as you would think when you have a tank of fish this big. There he is compared to my big Malawi trout. Here is the new kiwingi from the Demetriochromus family, just like the eye biter. Tangerine tiger that I have that has typically been second in command and kind of aggressive. Never really doing damage, just doing a lot of chasing though. This is also in the family of the Red Empress. The Red Empress just has a little more red where this one has orange and yellow. So I like the color difference and hopefully this will kind of keep the Tangerine Tiger a little more preoccupied with a new fish rather than chasing everybody and making huge sand mountains over here. Another one that's really colored up is my Rostratus who has gotten a lot more black to go with his blue chipping. The Fusco is Sometimes really colored up. You can't even see his designs. He's so colored up. He's full blue and purple and red and He's an awesome tank boss as well because he's pretty calm. The living stone eye is looking great and Really every fish has grown and colored up considerably in recent months All right, so that is the rundown of the current stock list as of now the kind of maximum occupancy of a 125 gallon predator hat tank is getting we're getting pretty close to it. So along those lines, the other update for this tank, I know we've been hinting at it for a long time, but it's finally uh, becoming time to order my new custom aquarium, hopefully in the next couple months to replace this 125, that I will have a lot more swimming space for these guys and can maybe update and add some more to my stock list and spread out some aggression, give these guys a little bit more territory so they don't have to get as aggressive with each other. It's going to be a huge upgrade and I cannot wait to share that with you in the future. One thing that is kind of driving me nuts about this tank that I cannot wait to upgrade on my next tank is the background. I have kind of one of those sheet backgrounds that you can get at Petco on this tank currently and the intake and outtake hoses from my canister filters have kind of crinkled it up over the years. You can really see it as the light reflects off the sand and then really shows and highlights the background where it didn't quite do that with my black sand. I cannot wait to upgrade that. I got some great ideas for my new tank with the background. You can let me know in the comments section below what your ideas and suggestions are for that background and the scape of the new tank and I will definitely take that into consideration as I plan for it and get ready for it here in the next couple months. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.